what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Awesome one for you today. Chell sent this one over. As always, one of my uh, expert hunters out there sending me stuff. Only He only sends good stuff, I tell you what. Um, he definitely picks out the good ones. He's called this one Pandora's Box. But when we get into this thing, it is once again, Uncle Jake's Junkyard stuff everywhere. Not just this thing, whatever it is here, box, stair, type, shape, weird thing going on. There's stuff everywhere. Over here, we've got stuff going on. Um, up here, oops, we got my tassel is coming up here. Up here, we have all sorts of pipes that run along. Look at these coming right here. I'm just going to give you a little quick, quick tour for the people who like to hit it and get it. And then down here, check this thing out. Look at the uh, one, two, whatever that is. This thing is pretty interesting. If you sit here and sit, stare at this thing for a while, you're gonna. It's pretty amazing. Here's how it came from NASA. Let me show you where I got it from. Here it is, right here off the NASA website. No need to, uh, no need to type that down. Just go to the description. If you're not on YouTube, hit the little YouTube button. Go to the description. Click the description. Also, click the enhanced. There's a button in there that takes you to uh, what's up in the sky.com. It's got enhanced pictures. I'll put up a bunch of these. Uh, in, you know, I take them and enhance the pictures a little bit to get these out. See, not I don't do too much to them. I mean, you could just, it just pulls it right out. What in the world is it? It looks like almost like two heads combined for three heads there. It's a very weird and interesting piece. It's got little bulbs on top of here, a little bulb type thing there. Um, the color, I think, is put in by the uh, NASA cam. And then up here on top of it, you've got like this perfect, these two copies of whatever it is. It looks like a carbon copy of each other. Not that it was, you know, pasted into it, which very well could have been. Who knows? Um, yeah, I don't know how these pictures are being made in, in many ways, but this thing looks pretty cool. There's two of them right there, and then whatever it is comes into that. And uh, let's just keep on moving right along here. Let me back on out and get a good wide angle view of the whole thing and then go from there I mean everywhere we look in this thing we see debris let's start down here a little bit we will, you know what let's start over here with our uh, with our Pandora's box the Chelsea over and there's stuff up at the top all over so stay tuned this could, might be a little bit long one we got the fire rocking behind us look at the uh, look at the symmetry in this rock if you cut this thing right down the middle it'd be a little almost a carbon copy on each side I'm using that word today. Carbon copy. Carbon copy. What is going on on Mars, guys? Look at this. Another wheel-looking thing. Oh, that looks like another perfect wheel. We've seen two wheels, three wheels. Um, they're everywhere. It looks like they uh, weren't all, just new cavemen. They had the wheel. They had all sorts of good equipment up there. I tell you what, whatever it was or whatever was going on, um, had some interesting things. Okay, look at this piece here. I'm going to take you up here a little bit more and really start to blow your mind, hopefully, if you let this thing sink in for a minute. And uh, sit back and take a look at this for a second. Hit the pause button if you want. And look at the, uh, just the, well, what seem to be tubes that run from all over this area to each other. You can see them throughout the whole piece and where they connect a lot of times there's little bulbs on top of them like you see these little things here like you would see here on earth for certain things um, pretty cool pretty cool let me keep on moving over here just a tad and show you up here because this is the one that really blew my mind I want you to hit pause on this one and take a look at some of this stuff in here. Look at these pipes that run out of the, the uh, side of the hill here. They run down into something cut off. They come out of it. And even here, look, look at these little uh, the bulbs on the top there and everything. Down here, a little more bulb comes down, comes into here. This whole little semicircle thing has comes up. Looks like it's got the stuff running out of here from under it up to here. And what's interesting about it, every time... Now, they got this color in here. It kind of throws you off. It's one of their bare filters they use. Hit the black and white. And you can see the stuff is still there. Look how this comes up out of this here. It actually comes out, just like his typical hose or something here would, or typical uh, um, you know, piping here on Earth, uh, a well out back. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. And maybe I'm taking too much time on that stuff, but to me, that looks... I mean, comment below, guys. Let me know if you guys think that looks like tubing or piping or what do you guys think that is. It's amazing all the comments I get, and I haven't been able to reply as much as I used to. And... Um, 
we've been it was freezing here we've got uh, our electricity's been off and on so i haven't been really making any videos lately this one chel sent me a while because i've been trying to uh get this one out um i got so many pictures to get done to make videos so we got a lot of good stuff and i am going to get off mars here soon and get some other pictures uh, there's a lot of good stuff out there now up here um he also pointed out these two pieces that look awfully just strange for the top of the you know just the top there look at the uh Look at this piece here, kind of in it. Just a whole thing behind it. And if you come over here, you've got like a cut-off trapezoid. Now let's move in right here on this and see this piece here. This does seem to be kind of worked over. Whatever it is has a very intricate, I'm watching there, look at that. Almost like a bow tie of some sort. Yeah, I know it's not a bow tie, but that, that type of look to it. I see what I see, you see what you see, you know. That's what we do here. Interesting stuff here where I see where all these tube-looking things come out. This comes up over top of it. And you can see it goes down into something. You can see the shadow under it. So, I mean, it's, this is how it came from NASA right here. So, you can see the stuff is there. All we do is tweak it a little bit here and pull it right on out. Now, this was interesting, too. This is right next to our main piece there. Uh, the Pandora's box is what we were calling that thing. Um... Just take a look at this piece here. It almost looks like it had some blur done to it by NASA or something. Who knows? Um, but whatever it did, it took out a chunk of what this thing was. And it just looks cool to me. Whatever it is, I don't know. It looks out of the ordinary to me. We've got these blind marks like we usually see when you get some when you get two parallel pieces together um, from almost all the pictures now. It's like my blinds effect, I call it. But whenever you get two parallel pieces that seem to be like the same width and they run with each other, you see it. But here's just from NASA. Look at the balls here. There's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And they're all, these two down here seem to be a little bit bigger than this one. And then there's two stragglers up there. Uh, see them? They, they come really good out when you uh, pull it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now... I don't try and do faces a lot, but that definitely looks like a little uh, face, which is probably just, you know, my mind matrixing that. But everywhere you seem to look here, there's there's intricacies, like stuff is just buried right under it, too. You, like, see outlines of things in here that you love to just take a archaeolo like archaeological brush and just brush some of this stuff off. Look at the long pieces here that look kind of like tubing or... Um, long sticks, something along those lines. I keep coming back to this piece here, and this is one of my, this might be the one that Pandora's box and this piece right here might be the, the two that uh, to me are just amazing about this piece. I mean, there's a uh, like cross type thing in here where it looks like there's, it almost looks like a jack or something like that. You guys ever play jacks in your kids like that? Um, you pick up the jacks, you bounce the balls. I'm sure you guys had it all over the world. Everybody's got jacks. A quick Google search will tell us when and where it was invented. As we keep moving right along, over here is kind of interesting. Once again, you get this the, that effect of that, like, you know, I call them blinds. But look at the little, you know, perfect little spear thing in there. It was just like a little baseball got hit up there. Now, I know there's not a baseball there. I see what I see. You see what you see. You know how I do it. That looks almost like a little perfect box. Interesting, interesting. What do you guys see there? Everywhere you go in this picture, this is definitely one to download and check the website out because I'm going to enhance a lot of these. Like a lot of times, I'll take like a, a picture from it or a slide from it. If you like, I'll put up, you know, sometimes as many as you know, 10 or 15 pictures that take these out. Look at this piece here; is really intricate. Um, I'll be interested to see if some of my buddies in the Mars world come and get this picture and, and really clean it up really well. Look at this thing here. I forgot the. To say this thing's just sitting straight up, it almost looks like a, a bust. Wow, that's a creepy looking bust, too, if it was. Let me see if he had that marked. Yeah, he definitely had that mark. I just hit pause and checked it. And next to it, too, this interesting stuff. But look at that. See how it's just sitting straight up there? It looks like a, uh, it almost looks like a little kid Martian riding a little go kart or something like that. And I don't say that too often about, uh, you know, people things on mars but that definitely is interesting and under it looks like a little piece it looks like a little statue or something you'd find somewhere this does too this almost looks like a little face as well and this weird like i said this weird shaped looking thing that 
has more shapes coming off in the circles and strange blurs and next to pieces that look like they came off of machines. This is what's going on on Mars, guys. And every time I pull out, I come down to that thing right there. And I just, that little, to me, that is just coolest looking thing. It's like, it almost looks like two little faces together. And it could just be pixels or whatever does it. But that looks like something really ornate that was on something that just so happened to end up here. You know, who knows how or why it ended up here. More, look, look at this piece down here. More just looks kind of worked over pieces of stone. Looks like metal slag, all sorts of stuff. Oh, this is another piece down here. This whole picture has got good stuff. Check this out in the front of this a little rock piece, whatever it is. It's whatever this is, it's being held off the ground by it, so the rock's holding this up. Because you can see the shadow under it, and you can see right under it and past it into the stuff behind it. Almost looks like there was a... Some of the stuff looks pasted and copied in. I must say, when you start getting these rectangle... Like, look at this stuff here. You just get, like, these rectangles around some of these rocks. So here's a very good example of it. Tell me that doesn't look like it was uh, fudged and put in there. It's not even natural to it. Oh, man. Let's see what happens if I use that. And you wouldn't even notice it until you pull out. Let's see if you notice it directly from NASA. Yeah, you can kind of notice it in there. But when you pull it out with the contrast and stuff, it really starts to show, especially with the color. So I don't know, guys. Sometimes I wonder if NASA is just making these pictures or JPL are just making these pictures or uh, if they're that bad that they've got to cover up so much stuff. Um, I know a lot of the logs come down and a lot of the universities get to see the logs, so they have to put some of these pictures out. And a lot of people say, well, why would they put any pictures out? Well, they're either going to have to fake them or they're going to have to, you know, say that something happened in the in the download and they, you know, they had to turn black or something you couldn't see them because you know they we know that the schools know they're going to be there there's a lot of different there's a lot of apps that see uh, we see a lot of the pictures sometimes on our midnight planets app before it even shows up on the uh you know the website um for jpl so nasa nasa.gov more and more stuff in this like more little spear thing like into the ground and if you look at like i said if you just look at like the top of everything like the you just kind of see these patterns that will look like pipes. <laughs> and the only way to put it up here, look at this one. Check this out, and then we'll get to rock. And this, this one does a little S turn and goes up the thing there. Now, do you guys see that? That's pretty cool. And whatever in the world this thing is here next to it, it's definitely all gnarled up by blur, whatever it is. All right, guys, comment on this one. Let me know what you guys think. I don't want to make you sick here, but I want to take you back on over. Take a look at this one with the little heads up at the top, whatever it is. We got Pandora's box, all sorts of good stuff. I don't even know what to put into the uh, into the little thumbnail thing. But if you stay tuned right after this, you can click. I got usually what I'm doing now. I'm getting really fancy here, guys. Come on, put you know, my YouTube channel is, is taking primo stuff. I've got little three videos afterwards you can click to go to another video. So I, I've been watching everybody else and trying to do the YouTube Academy to make my channel a little bit nicer for you. And hopefully we'll keep getting there. I'm just going to keep doing what I do. I, I, I don't try and fancy stuff up. You know, I've done that a couple of times. It's a lot of work. You know, I really give, so the people who make YouTube videos, you know, there's there's a lot of people doing a lot of work out there so all right guys much love what's up in sky 37 check out the website all sorts of good stuff up on there uh, every day i go there in the morning and check it to see who's uploaded stuff um it's pretty awesome i must say i'm so glad that people look at the forums all i have to do is sign up if you want to talk in the forums sometimes i think it's better than google comments to have a place off of the uh, mainstream we can talk and uh, nobody like i said in the front page you'll see Nobody's going to talk crap on you there. If anybody hits that, they're banned. So, all right, guys, much love. Take it easy. Let me know what you guys think below. Peace.